Hey guys, got a question about proton pump inhibitors. I'm gonna try to do my best to answer it. The background is that the human stomach is highly acidic. It's that way as sort of a defense. It's meant to be a hostile environment to bacteria. But if you have acid reflux, heartburn, problems like that, you know, the acid can become a problem. And we came up with these drugs called proton pump inhibitors and H2 blockers. Basically, they're kind of reducing your body's production, your stomach's production of the acid. Is it dangerous to take these long term? My take on it is that once upon a time, I think the general thinking was that it's not bad to just take these indefinitely. We used to just put patients on these all the time. Uh, just to prevent acid reflux, we'd see patients on these, you know, when they come into the ICU because it's supposed to help prevent uh, stomach ulcers. Those patients are at high risk. But I think people just forgot or they just kind of oversight. There's too many other things to think about. The stomach is acidic for a reason, so we can't just use these indefinitely. Uh, I don't want to scare anyone. When the stomach isn't as acidic as it's supposed to be, there are some risks of infection. Uh, so we did find, for example, higher rates of Clostridium difficile infection, C. diff, or we found higher rates of tuberculosis risk in patients who are on long-term uh, proton pump inhibitor use. That doesn't mean these drugs are really dangerous. It's just that you know you really shouldn't take them longer than you need to and without a doctor's supervision. A lot of these are available over the counter, but I don't recommend just taking them indefinitely. The thinking on this has changed a lot. Uh, so, you know, we still use them quite a bit in the hospital. It's really a risk versus benefit thing, right? So we have to weigh, do you have acid reflux? Do you have GERD? Do you have some kind of esophageal damage or problem that we have to worry about uh, versus is it worth the incremental risk of an infection that you may have to balance that out with? Okay, so hope that helps.